and welcome youtubers to this video yeah hello everyone this is your friendly Kento tomorrow speaking and who is slightly irritated today is November 6th early morning somewhere around 320 or something central I'm slightly irritated that I don't have the money to buy Halo 4 which really does kind of irritate the hell on me but I'll get in two days. So there's Joy there. And as you probably can tell, I'm just doing a random search here. Playing Battlefield 3. Which is pretty good in its own sense. I don't know. I just am bored out of my fucking mind. <sighs> and here I am. I don't even think this is a good idea to do, but screw it. I don't have anything actually going on my fucking YouTube thing anyway. Alrighty, we're jumping in here. Battlefield 3, awesome game. But the only problem I would say on this point is that it has an entire group of people who completely, utterly try hard sometimes. As in the point of they have um, only an hour of actual daylight shoved into their faces because they're too fucking fat to roll out of their mother's basement. Or something around that point. And these people, yes, have irritated the hell out of me on countless numerous occasions. And why the fuck are we being loud? Chemo suckos. Wait, why am I in a tank? This is a bad idea. They have air supremacy. Holy crap, am I seeing this correctly? Yep. As I said, they have air supremacy and we have nothing. This is bad. Um Achtung, hab einen feindlichen Panzer gesichtet. Over. Okay. I hope to God it doesn't seem. Please, dear God. Turn away, tank. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. No, please. I hate you. Oh god. <laughs> oh shit. I was hoping he didn't notice me. But what a fucking faggot though. The guy's camping our spawn. That is so retarded. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of fucking spawn camping. And people are gonna bitch about that. Oh fuck, I just realized something. I don't even know the right fucking scope on this. Well, damn. Slow and dull. Right now, here. 
Well, yeah, the one thing I was talking about earlier that I had lost track of time of, not time, thought, thought, is the simple fact these maps aren't exactly made for, um, 12v12. And I think the majority of everyone in this game would actually agree with this. These maps are huge, yes, and they're awesome, but they're just a bit huge. Like, right now, nine people, that's a 18 in one match. Yeah, that's like 18 people in one match. That's a thing. The thing is, though, there's like no one around. Because one for the jets. One for each helicopter, and then a co-pilot. And whatnot. Okay, where did this guy go? We have a friendly heli in our Einsatzgebiet gesichtet. Rück mit äußerster Vorsicht weiter vor. Over. Huh. But yeah, it's just, some of them are just too small, or I mean too big. Like Caspian Border is a perfect example. As well as Firestorm might be there just barely pushing that boundary. And then Cargan Island pushes it too, but the whole left side no one goes to because it's like nothing there. No buildings, no spawn points. Nothing to blow up or <laughs> I just had to do that. Oh man, this is just slow. Yeah. Also, honestly though, all they really need to do, I think, for the next battlefield that's coming out like next year around fall or whatnot. It's just refine this. Just refine the whole flow of this map. Or the game itself, basically. Yeah, you can replace some of the weapons with newer ones and everything else and whatnot. But don't start changing shit like fucking psychotic. This here. Uh, point in reference, I'm gonna throw that at Call of Duty. For the fact that. Number four was the best one out there, and to refer to that one is just it's just basic norm, just basically normal. I mean, there was nothing so freaky. Now wait, that's not a corp. Oh fuck it. But I was saying, there's like. Nothing relatively. There was nothing that was actually breakthrough in that one. It was just solid gameplay. Just. This did this, that did that, and it was done. Modern Warfare 2 kind of went down a route that some people might have not liked with all the explosions. Oh, fuck you too, helicopter. As I was saying, um, one way for two down, run down a route that, yes, added some neat things in there, more kill streaks. Yeah, that was cool. And all that. Holy shit, how did, oh fuck. Oh fuck me. I was hoping to do a breach and clear and... That kind of failed on my part.
but yeah, as I'm saying, Modern Warfare 2 brought something new, yes, and it just barely kept its balance. Yes, there were some parts where it just felt unbalanced. But those were quickly fixed and refined. But, and this is what gets me a little. When people say Black Ops is also in line with Modern Warfare 2, they're not up for comparison. Like, honestly, you compare Modern Warfare 2 to Black Ops, made by two actually different groups of people with two different feels and pretty much well, I guess doesn't understand what I mean by that by feel I mean flow and by flow I mean gameplay Modern Warfare 2 kind of stayed within the medium non fast paced shooter unless you were complete rushing every five seconds and then so and forth had a certain flow where players would move here and then naturally go there and crap this was also employed in Black Ops but Black Ops stayed more to the point of the classic, get these kill streaks, get that, boom. And even within the whole dynamic of objectives, the relative feel was still the same of rushing and constantly moving. To a point where you actually, if you didn't really move much and you kind of just walked around the map most of the time, your KD ratio would shoot through the fucking roof. Is how bad it became. And then the person with the quickest reflexes on a control stick won. Which I really do hope Black Ops 2 brings that back as well. Just bring back what Black Ops had and doesn't go off overboard with adding shit. And what I mean by that, I mean don't do what Modern Warfare 3 did. I had a bunch of killstreak guns, no way to get that shit and all that other crap. Make it slightly confusing and retarded in the same sense. Screw with the flow, answer everyone's fucking pissy ass questions and fucking answers. I swear to god. Everyone who hated anything about a Call of Duty made fucking Call of Duty 3. Or Modern Warfare 2 or 3, whatever the fuck I'm talking about now. Point of reference, I hate Modern Warfare 3 with a burning passion because it's a humping lump of pure other shit. Argue what you want. It's not refined, it has no flow, it's pure chaotic, and it has so much shit, none of it makes a goddamn sense and everything is pretty much the same. Utter bullshit. There's no significance to anything. Sniping is made into a fucking running class then. Not an actual sit back and shoot something. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay, that time it actually hit him. Oh, fuck you! And the back tapping shit. Okay, I was just being quiet as a sense for that. Honestly, okay. Going back to this, um... But yeah. Basically, I enjoy Halo and Modern Warfare 2. And all that, because it was just simple. It wasn't nothing fucking complex. It was just nothing complex, nothing over the fuck top confusing. There's nothing out there that was fucking weird as hell 
or was thought up by some guy who was smoking a crack by thinking fairy tales and unicorns were fucking each other. Honestly. Whoever the fuck came up with the ideas for Modern Warfare 3 and decided to go with them should be shot. Shot, killed, then take with a pitchfork and shoved straight up his ass and skewered for everyone to see, learn from, and never do again. Yeah. Graphical, I know. But that's what it takes to get the game from being utter shit to awesomeness? I'll fucking do it myself. I will fucking do it myself. <sighs> God. Honestly, I just hope fucking Halo 4 is. Hey, look, a random dude. Hey, your threat's mine. Hey, <laughs> your throat's mine. What the fuck was that about? <laughs> the other tank. That's hilarious. I didn't even want that to be a one shot. I didn't even realize I shot him. That's hilarious. But yeah. Uh, I just hope they took what they made with Halo and just refined it. Just bring in nothing over the top out of their fucking world type thing. And what I mean by that, you can bring in new weapons, new enemies, new shit like that. But that just builds the game. What I'm talking about is bringing in concept or new ideas of how to play it. Like, they, okay. Modern Warfare 3 brought in the whole get that many kills proficiency thing. Which honestly would be kind of good if it was in Call of Duty 4. Or not 4, but I mean 2. 2 or Black Ops. Because that would have made feel like more sense. But the thing is now. I should go kill that stupid fuck ass. Oh, let's see, what was I going on? Glitches, how I love you. I'll just do insult injury there. Yeah, where are we at? 19 minutes? I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this short. Honestly, Halo has done a lot of things over the years. <laughs> this sounds fucking weird as hell. I'm talking about Halo 4 and Battlefield 3. But screw it. As I was saying, Halo has done so many things over the years. It's kind of like, if they bring something new, most of the fans would just embrace it instantly. As long as they just don't go over the fucking top on something. Like, how they actually cut the health main 100% health into half and calling it 100%. Which is kind of weird in... Call of Duty... Or, Modern Warfare 3. And the whole... How they grew in sniping and shit. <sighs> If you're saying quick scoping and sniping, please just shut the fuck up and go drop in a corner while slitting your lists. 
and actually choking on your own fucking tongue. But honestly, they don't do anything like that and just screw up the gameplay or feel of it. It'll be an awesome game. It'll just pure epic heavenliness. Heaven, heaven. Uh, I can't even say heavenly correctly. Oh fuck. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here, man. Um, yeah. If you have any comments or questions, just leave it in the thingy below. Wow, I'm saying this backwards as fuck. Uh, just comment anything, and I will get back to you on any of those comments. Not like I have much else to do except wait two days for a game to come out, then go into a gaming binge and play the little fuck out of it on two separate accounts. So yeah. See ya, YouTube. Cause I'm only a crack in this castle of glass. Javier.